So the Mother Marathon has come and gone, and quite frankly, it has exceeded my expectations in the sense that, you know, RPGs aren't that exciting to watch. Especially 72 hours straight, so yeah, I know right now you're watching me play an RPG, but I know it's not all that interesting most of the time, so that's why I try to make some uh, random banter about all kinds of stuff, whether it's related to Pokemon or not. But, as I was saying, there wasn't that much action in the game stream, especially since, well, as I said, it's an RPG. It's more exciting when you watch other genres, such as, well, for example, the Zelda Marathon was interesting to watch at times, whereas uh, Mother, well, especially Mother 1, it required a lot of grinding at the beginning of the game, because apparently I've never played Mother 1, but as I've been told, you need a lot of grinding in order to be able to beat the game, so that could get boring real fast at times. No, the action was, as usual, in the commentator stream and the, the chat room, of course. Watching the co-hosts mess with our heads when it came to the secret marathon, well, that that was awesome, actually. They, 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 they were doing a lot of bad puns that well, they were bad, but at the time, they were really awesome in, in a way. I'm laughing just thinking about it. But yeah, there were also real clues that, uh, well, they they weren't very clear for the most part, but w what was clear did point at Mega Man, and it was indeed Mega Man. Mega Man Marathon in August. And in the purest tradition of the speed gamers, they also tried to drum up donations by doing all kinds of crazy stuff if they ever got at a given amount of money obtained. So for example, um, one, uh, one of the guys, Baltus, tried to drum up donations by saying he'd shave his legs at, what was it, 7,000? And shave his head bald at 10,000, and since we ended up with 10,400? Well, he's gonna have to do both, and I think he's not done it yet, but he's going to do it uh, later on. I don't know if it's gonna be streamed today or tomorrow, or if it's gonna be at the next marathon. I honestly have no idea, but that's one of the things they did. They also tried uh, getting people to donate by promising to eat some some gross stuff, like, you know, scorpion suckers, boxes of worms, that kind of thing. And yeah, I, they actually make barbecued and cheese-flavored worms. I didn't know that, and that is not something I want to know either. Oh, and this guy here introduces us to the concept of swarms, and I'm going to come back to it a little bit later on, whether it's in this video or the next one, because I don't want to get thrown off my train of thought here. But uh, I was talking about them eating some gross stuff, and one of them, I don't remember who, uh, helped himself to, uh, to a plate of poutine uh, late in the marathons, except he messed it all up. If you don't know what poutine is, it's basically french fries with cheese curds, and then you put gravy on top of that. DELICIOUS! Then again, it's because I'm from Quebec that I say that, because anyone anyone who's not from Canada you will usually think it's gross, but it actually tastes good, I think. But I'll admit that Canadian delicacies aren't for everyone. But yeah, he messed up that poutine because, well, usually you put the, 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 the fries first, then the cheese curds, and then the gravy. Well, he put the gravy before the cheese, and to make it all worse, he actually melted the cheese curds. Now that, now that looks gross if you melt the cheese curds. You don't melt the cheese curds, you just heat them up a little so that they're not that hard. They, you may make them melt just a little bit, but you don't melt them all the way. That is gross, and I wouldn't even dare to taste that. And if you think regular poutine is gross, wait till you see Italian poutine. What it is, basically, it's the same thing as poutine, except no, it's not from Italy. You just substitute the gravy for spaghetti sauce. Now that is probably the worst idea for a meal ever invented. And I'm from Quebec and I love poutine, but I simply cannot stomach even the thought of Italian poutine. That's just messed up. Whoever invented that should be hung! 
But I digress, back to the marathon, another thing they did to get some donations was auctioning off some figurines handmade by someone from Starman.net, I don't remember the name, but it was someone from Starman.net, there was a Starman Deluxe, there was a regular Starman, and there was a Money Money statue. Uh, all uh, small replicas between two and a half inches and four inches tall. And it was really fun to watch. You had people donating like $50, $75, $100. I think the regular Starman was actually sold for, um, it was $257, I think. That was the highest any of the figurines went. And it was also fun to see all those last minute donations. You know, it's it's called sniping on uh, eBay, but there everyone just called it getting ninja. And the fun thing is that the guy who won the the Starman Deluxe for one hundred twenty-seven dollars, I think. Well, he had also given upwards of nine hundred dollars in small chunks throughout the entire marathon, and then he was ballsy enough to bid on the Starman Deluxe, and he won it. So that means. He, he gave like over a thousand dollars just in this marathon alone, so everyone just kept saying that he was the owner of the only money tree in the world. But seriously, how much money did that guy have donating a thousand dollars for charity? That, that takes either some serious brass balls or a lot of money or a combination of both. But, truth be told, that auction wasn't quite as epic as the one for the Rayquaza nickname which cost $400 and uh, where the, the Rayquaza was lost to a corrupted file the next morning, but it was still pretty cool. Oh yeah, this guy here is trying to sell me a slowpoke tail for a million dollars, just like the bike in red, blue and yellow, and of course I don't have that kind of money and I don't think there would be any use for a slope of tail anyway, let's check what's there, and there's a great ball. Of course, when there's a dead end like this, you always gotta check either the, the very end itself or the tile just before, because there's almost always going to be something there. But let's wrap up the marathon talk. As I said at the very beginning, there wasn't much going on in the game stream. The only real highlight was Chugga Conroy completely annihilating Earthbound. And when I say annihilating, that is an understatement because that poor cartridge isn't going to be able to fit in a Super Nintendo for at least the next three months. As I just obtained the, the old rod, which in this generation, well, it can fish other things than just Magikarp. Isn't that great? I personally, I always thought the old rod should only catch Magikarps, but I suppose that uh, it would help to be able to access some other water types uh, other than Magikarp for the first part of the game, so I guess that's a step in the right direction. But anyway, I was talking about Chugga Conroy earlier, and I was really startled at how much, well, not just how much of a following this guy has, because I have an idea, but how passionate those guys are about him. It's, uh, it's really creepy, I mean, you've got a bunch of inbred orangutans swarming the chat, asking, when is Chugga gonna be on, when is Chugga gonna be on? Is Chugga gonna commentate? Is Chugga gonna 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 play? Chugga 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 Duck. Ah! Enough already! I mean, I don't have anything against Chugga, nor do I have anything against his fans, but there's a portion of his fan base that is just way too obsessed with the guy. Those, what did I call them? Inbred orangutans, I think? They want to know what he eats for breakfast, they want to know what his face is like, they want to know what what, what size his shoes are, they want to know everything about him. I thought that was a treatment reserved only for Hollywood stars. I swear that if I ever became that popular, I would quit out of fear of being brainwashed by the tidal wave of stupid. It's God's curse to the internet. No matter how complicated it may get, any idiot can use the internet easily and do whatever he likes with it. So I'm aware that, in conclusion, that I haven't talked much about Pokemon, if at all, but I am going to fix that in the next video, so 
I guess I will be seeing you in the Union Cave. I can't wait.